Hey, Bears fans! The Bears have an unusually large amount of salary cap space to spend in free agency. With over $88 million, they have more than twice as much money than any team. But does cash guarantee success for the Bears in free agency? We'll discuss potential problems that could lead to free agency failure for GM Ryan Poles despite his abundance of cash. If you are not subscribed yet, don't waste time. Subscribe and activate the notifications to receive all Bears news every day. Be the most updated fan. The Pro Football Focus named its most likely landing spots for the top 50 free agents this week and if you're a Bears fan you have to be dissatisfied with what this showed. PFF's Brad Spielberger and Arjun Menon found only two free agents in PFF's top 49 for the Bears. They sent Eagles defensive tackle Javon Hargrave and 49ers offensive tackle Mike McGlinchey to Chicago. But the disappointing part was Spielberger and Menon sent four of the top 49 to Las Vegas and Houston. Houston has only $25 million cap space and Vegas $39.4 million, compared to $88 million for the Bears. What could be the problem? One possibility is the hits principle that the Bears coach, Matt Eberfluss, instills in his players. This principle demands that players train hard and run excessively during scrimmages and between practice sections. While some players adjusted last year, it remains to be seen if this will be a factor in attracting free agents to Chicago. Another problem could be the Bears' talent deficiency. With a record of 3-14 last season, many players might be skeptical of joining a team that has little chance of winning. Moreover, with the limited talent available, the Bears might not be able to bring in the very top tier of free agents in sufficient numbers to make a significant impact. Many of the free agents the Bears drew in last year had ties to members of the staff or polls. They weren't exactly the cream of the free agency crop due to lack of cash available. So it will now be interesting to see how many players without ties to the hit system or the coaching staff will come to Chicago based on the money and opportunity. It will be interesting to see how GM Ryan Poles confront these potential problems and whether the Bears will land more of the top free agents. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Remember to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. Be another fan of our community and let's strengthen the Bears. See you later.